today I've created this purple makeup and if you're interested in learning how to do this look, please continue watching. Hey guys, Sneha here from Beauty Lashes 19, helping you put your best face forward. So today I don't have internet in my house, so I guess I was feeling extra crazy. I wanted to do a look and I knew I wanted to do purple. So I swatched like a million purple pinky shades to decide on what shade I wanted to use. And I did the eye and then I created this gorgeous lip shade. But yeah, I love this combination and I can't wait to share it with you all. And I'm actually doing a foundation hack videos. So that's the reason I already had my base for this particular look. So I'll list the hack video in the description box below if you'd like to see what base products I used. But let's get started. I'm going to prime my eyes with the trusty NARS eye primer. So I finished one eye just to save some time and we'll deal with lashes when we complete both the eyes. So first I'm just going to mix this pigment amethyst which is this gorgeous purple pigment and I'm going to mix that with a drop of the Inglot Duraline. So once you have the smooth paste, I'm just going to apply it all over my mobile eyelid. I'm kind of rounding off the eye. Don't worry if these lines are not smooth or straight. We're going to pack now the pigment, the dry pigment, onto this layer that we have to build up on the intensity of the purple. Then I'm going to take my Wayne Gauss brush number 20. Just take any small crease brush. And I'm going to buff out the edges of this line. And as the shade buffs out, it's going to turn into a more pinky shade. So that's the color you're going to get in the crease. So once it starts to look like this, then I went in with this MAC Pro Longwear Eyeshadow in the shade Uninterrupted. Just taking that on a bigger blending brush. This is the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Just going to blend out the edges of this pink with this mustardy brown. Now on the mobile lid, I went in with my Urban Decay Electric palette and I used this purple shade, which is called Urban. Just going to pack it on the inner and the outer corner. I'm also going to take some into the socket so that there's a connection between the front and the back of the eyelid where we applied this Urban shade. And then again, going in with that bigger blending brush, just buffing that into that brown we had earlier. This is the shade Masquerade, which is a foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. It's not the most pigmented eyeshadow, so I don't know. But I like the shade, so I just wanted to pop it right in the middle here. It's not too different. So maybe you won't even be able to see it, but kind of lightens that area, if that makes sense. I went in with a brow highlight. Here I'm using this brow bone shade from the Black Radiance eyeshadow palette and this is in the shade Downtown Browns. Next I'm taking that same purple eyeshadow, the Urban from the Electric palette and going underneath the lashes both on the outer corner and the inner corner. And then right in that middle area we're going to put the Masquerade shade by Naked Geek. And I just wanted to mirror what we have on the top. Then I'm going in with that small Wayne Goss brush and going in with that mustardy brown that we used. Next for the purple eyeliner. So this is the pigment by MAC called Rich Purple. So I'm just going to create an eyeliner with that and apply it close to my lash line on the top and the bottom. Then I'm going to go in with the black coal and of course I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal in Bedroom Black. I'm going to run it on my top and bottom waterline. And since this eye look is dramatic, I think, I'm going to use my House of Lashes in the style Iconic with my Esquido Lash Glue. 
So lashes are on and I'm going to be using this MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara on my bottom lashes. Next I'm just going to use some color corrector under my eyes. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in the shade R40. Just taking a small amount on the inner corner of my eye, that's where I have darkness. And usually this is enough for me, I don't need a separate concealer, so I'm just going to set it. Again using the same RCMA powder. Next I'm going to conceal all my acne scarring that are still showing through and I'll list my tutorial for it in the description box below. Spot concealing is done. I'm going to set my face now with the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm going to dust this lightly on my face. Next I'm going to bronze my face and for that I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Dark. So that's added color back to my face and now my face matches my neck. Next I'm going in for some contouring because that's my favorite thing to do. Today I've decided to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light uh, Contour Palette. I think I'm going to mix these two shades. I'm going to try highlighting with this banana shade. I think today I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion. I believe this is the shade 02. Next we are going to use this bright purple blush. Last step was lipstick. So let's try this lavender shade which is, oops, this one, which is number nine from the Anastasia lip palette. Let's go for it. I've never tried anything lavender on my lips before. So I'm curious. Actually, I think I'm going to go a little crazy and use this blue shade as well. It's primary five. Can you guys tell that I love color? <laughs> this is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. And that, guys, is the finished look. I really love how this turned out, especially the lip. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this look. So the question in this video is if you have any color scheme that you want me to try or use in a future makeup tutorial, do let me know in the comment section below and I will see whatever shade comes up as majority. That's the shade I'll create for a future experimental look. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!